All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. We are here at the uh, Netherlands. Sorry, Finland map, not Netherlands. Finland map, and we are doing some trolling. So you actually spawn in up here, but we are way down here, sort of where the deeper waters are. Trolling uh, three rods. Sounds like we've got. Let's go ahead and shut the engine down. We've got a fish on our third line. Oh, perhaps we may have fish on all three. I don't know. We'll see what we've got. So this is in previous videos what I've talked about. One of my um, favorite places to troll. Uh, it's just really good bite rate and pretty exciting fish that you can often catch. Yeah, it sounds like we do have fish on the other two lines as well. So we have an Arctic char here. 3.8 kilos, not bad. Let's get it cast back out there. Our weakest line is our middle line, so let's go ahead and... Oof, it is swimming right for us. Let's see what's on here. Oh yeah, this might be a challenge. Yeah, that's going to be an adventure. We may end up having to chase it a little bit, which on this boat is going to be quite difficult. All right, this one's fine. I don't know that we're going to be able to catch both of these fish. We could lose both of them, but let's see if we can get some movement on this one. I think I'll actually change the lure we're using on this one, see if we can target a little bit smaller fish. The middle line is definitely our weakest line. And if we hook into a Baltic or something like that on this line, it's, well, it's gonna kind of be like this, very difficult to get in. Let's see if we can actually bring this fish in. before we get spooled on the other one. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice fish. That middle one's a nice fish. We are slowly making progress. Let's see where we're at here. Uh, about half of the... About half the spool left. So not all the fish are this difficult to bring in. I mean, they, a lot of fish would be difficult to bring in on that middle line. Is it kind of chilling at this point? I don't know. But on these outside lines, we've got enough strength that most fish we can sort of pull right in here, but... And we definitely have this one headed in the right direction. Maybe that fish just got off on the middle line. 
which might be the best case scenario, I don't know. This fish is probably larger than whatever was on that middle line. It's just the strength of our of our rig on that middle line that was a problem. There we can see it there. Uh-oh. There he is. Yeah, I think that is a Baltic, right? So 18 kilo Baltic, 3,500 XP, pretty nice silver. Uh, very nice fish. Now those Baltics will get a good bit larger than that. Let's see what's going on on our... Okay, it did come off. And again, that might have been the... That might have been the best case scenario for that one. So you can over in this part of we're gonna I'm gonna try something here. Oh, did we just catch a fish reeling this in? Are you serious? That's funny. You can pretty much do this all day, uh, and in the night you kind of have to choose like, do you want to go for burbot? Which when I first got to this map, it was still a little bit overnight, so I did catch a couple burbot. I can show you the baits I used to get those. I don't know of like the best burbot spots. So if anybody has fished burbot here a lot, uh, I'd be interested in kind of what your strategy is. I've heard that people that kind of get on the right spots can catch a lot of burbot. For me, it was pretty slow, but we did get uh, three or four of them and they were nice size, but All right, let's see what this is that just like latched on as we were reeling it in. Oh, it's a nice asp, okay, okay. So, a couple things to draw your attention to. Um, first of all, the lures that I think I like using the best out here are these deep tails. VOB deep tail. I happen to have the M1 and the M3 on. There's also an M2 that works really well. Um, this is the nice big boat, uh, which it, it is... Uh, I really do, I mean, I like this boat, but it also is a little more cumbersome, um, obviously, to try to drive and troll. So let's look at the other option. So we're going to go back to the starting area. I think the boat will come with us. Yep, so there's the boat we were just on. First of all, let's sell fish so you can get, a, get, a, get an idea. Yeah, we did catch four burbot. Two were on frogs. Two were on a bunch of worms. 3-0 hooks for all four of them. Nice size. Let's see if they're worth anything. Is there anything we want to... You know, one thing you can do... Um, some of the fish you catch here, you can turn into salmon row, but none of the ones we have. So that was 481 silver. So the burbot are about 50 silver a pop. So it's pretty good. Uh, especially if you don't have something else to fish for at night. So 481 silver... And uh, pretty good profit there. Okay, so the other boat is this little guy. And it looks like we could, I don't think I've ever used this boat. I feel like the boats at all the maps have changed. But let's see. Yeah. This boat might be a little faster too. So one thing we could do is... Um, just troll with two or maybe even hold the third one. And I also want to troll over here. I haven't done this in a long time. Back when this map first came out, I believe that over here, if you, if you trolled this area, you tended to get more pike and stuff, but I don't know if the other fish are over here as well. So we're going to just do something a little different, a little bit of experimentation here. 
and see if we catch anything on one pass of sort of along this shore where it gets a little deeper. And if not, we'll try to head back over to this area if there's time and do a little bit more trolling over there. So with this boat, we actually, you know, it's just so much easier to maneuver if we got a really large fish that we needed to sort of stay um, stay close to, we would have a better chance with this boat. All right, let's go ahead and get our, the rides we wanna have. out there or is this one and this one we'll keep the same lure zone and then yeah let's just go ahead and kind of ride along this shore here get trolling speed going and I don't know what we want to use to try to maybe a spoon let's we'll see if we can't get a, a pike to come chase a spoon here We can still control the boat speed and direction even while trolling with these lines. Looks like we might have a fish on the first line already, actually. So one of the difference, I mean, not only can this boat just maneuver a lot faster, it also, you're not having to go back and forth from the deck to the, you know, captain's seat or whatever, the engine room. You can do everything from sitting in this seat. And let's look real quick on, I wonder what the largest northern pike here was caught on. A twist nord. Okay, there's definitely a fish on now. Uh, but again, I'm not sure if jigging the, I mean, if trolling the jigs work. It might though. We could certainly try that. Wow, we threw this spoon way out there we can slow the boat down since we've got a fish on yeah so maybe we will try see if that's a thing so this this lure did catch something out here it seems like it's pretty small compared to like the baltics we were catching over on the other side Let's see what we actually caught. Yep, another Arctic char red caviar so I think that when it says red caviar I believe that means you can get the salmon row out of it so you get 30 salmon row that arctic char isn't that big it's only a green so we'll take that salmon row okay so let's try the lure that we know has caught some northern pike and see if trolling this is a thing let's see how far that goes out yeah, it should be good. All right, we're actually going to put that one. And then we can hold this one if we want to. Yeah, something like that. Oh, wow. This lure seems to be working really well over here. When you're trolling like this, it just the hook sort of sets by itself. It's kind of nice. That looks like a little asp, maybe? Yep. A 
Let's see what fish on the lake. What does it say about northern pike? Prefers depth. Oh, gigantic, valuable, predatory. So prefers depth and that the thing that we're jigging there. You know what? Let's do real quick. Let's just try something. Oops. Let's cut the engine off. Put the anchor down. And um, thirty five speed. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's just see if we can't. See if we can't find a northern pike real quick out here. You know, I bet we could cast further if we did this on our bait casting setup. Let's just try one time on this, and then we'll come back to the detail M1 because it seems to be working really well out here. We'll go this size, this on here. It did say it prefers depth, so we'll cast it out this way. Yeah, longer cast for sure. I may have to do some testing to figure out Northern Pike. I know I had some when the map first came out, but I really don't. It's been so long now, I don't remember exactly how we approached it. I really did think that we might have caught them trolling down here, but who knows what lure or approach we were using. Oh, wait. Okay, so maybe we just need to do a straight retrieval or something. We'll see if this is in fact a northern pike. I believe it is. Okay, there you go. It's a little guy. Not bad though. Okay, well at least we found one. And we're using the M1 over here. Cast that back out. Let's keep going.
go over this a little bit deeper area. We're just going to go a bit further and then we will sort of speed back over to here and uh, we'll finish up with a little bit more trolling in the area that I typically troll in. Wow. See what we hooked into here. All three fish over here, other than that northern pike, I think, have been on the M1. This is a nice arctic, I believe. I think that's going to be a large one. Oh, no, just a regular arctic char. Very cool. Okay. Let's move it, move it. Arctic char, northern pike, asp. So that island that's right in front of us there, you actually can use the fish market there and sell fish. So once you're out here, you can kind of stay out here as long as you want. Trolling, catching burbot at night. I don't think there's catfish out here. Oh, there are sturgeon. That's right. Uh, in fact, there's different types of trout. Um, in fact, this island here, I believe over on this side, used to be able to catch sturgeon over here, or maybe it was at the very, t I think it was over here. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's definitely sturgeon out here as well. I've just always enjoyed trolling on this map. That's what I've done primarily here in the Finland map, but at least I didn't call it in the Netherlands that time. All right, we're almost where we want to slow down and start trolling. kind of like being in this little boat. Um, the maneuver maneuverability is so much better. I don't know that we're going to catch anything on this spoon, but we'll keep it out there for now. See if we can get a couple more nice fish.
There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. And we're still slowly moving forward to keep tension on the on the fish that we have on our first line there. But it's also nice when you uh, can hook into something right at the end there on your third rod you're holding. And this is like the perfect size fish for this setup. Get it in here nice and quick. Baltic salmon. Glad it wasn't a big one. Part of what makes this trolling experience so nice is just the quiet engine. You're controlling your speed. So you can try trolling a little slower than normal, a little faster than normal. Um, ooh, that's a nice one. Another Arctic. So it's, it's just, it's, it can be a very peaceful uh, and yet you're still getting some nice fish. So you see where the engine bar You've got five bars of green, and then above that, it sort of changes color. I've always sort of taken that to mean that trolling speeds are sort of down in this green area. I don't know if that's true, but th that tends to be the speed of which uh, the slower speeds, that or slower, tends to be the speeds where I have the most action trolling. But That's on the second line over there, isn't it? it doesn't go under our boat pull it straight out they are really biting today the arctic chars are Might just be another one. I believe it is. Which is interesting. I feel like normally I see a little bit more variety in the fish that we're catching out here, but um,
But this has still been really good. Arctic Chars. Yeah, a little unlucky today. The daily for this, this place was the Minnow Lake. So I don't know if I'll do that or not. If I do, I will update you and let you know if I figure out a way to farm the very little minnow lakes for that daily. Let's see if we can get one more fish here. So one thing, if you do want to use the ice chest, obviously that's available on the bigger boat. I don't believe there's an ice chest on this boat. But you don't really need it, not with the ability to sell fish now on this island. That's funny, it still controls my fishing rod. So now there's a fish market right there on the island close to where we are out here. The ice chest doesn't seem like it's as big a deal. I love that there's like fish alarms built into these rod holders on the boats like this. Oh, okay. say this is probably not an arctic char or it's a really nice one if it is so one thing we can do in this boat and this boat makes it a lot did we just get another fish? Uh-oh. Okay, well, we don't want to do that then. I was going to say we can um, we can go chase it down and decrease the amount of time we're fighting it, but then that would create a lot of slack for that line. So we don't necessarily need to do it, I don't think. So we'll just we'll try to get both fish in. I don't know. Is there slack in that line? There we go. Yeah, and this has really stopped pulling much. So it's either tired or something. 
trying to keep tension in that other line so we don't lose that fish. salmon 15 kilo yeah those get really large all right let's see if we can actually get this fish in as well yeah it shouldn't be a problem Should be able to see it right here. Another Baltic. Really nice experience, even with the smaller ones. Okay. I love this little boat. Okay, so I guess I've got the engine sound so low but I mean, it's not a bad sound even when you can hear it. All right. And we're off. Let's see how we did here. First, let's make sure on, yeah. So 244 silver, we didn't do quite as well as we did it on that initial cell, and that's just because we had all greens, right? We didn't get any large. And that initial cell, I think we had two large Baltics. We had those burbot. We just kind of a little unlucky on the fish that we did catch here, but it still adds up. We're now over 15,000 silver, so doing really well. We're also almost a quarter into 29, so the XP continues to go really fast. Uh, okay, as always, thanks for watching, and... Um, as a look ahead, I think there's only one more map we have unlocked, and that is Serbia. No, that's not true. There's two more. We've got Serbia, and then we also have Siberia, which is the DLC map. Um, so, yeah. We shall probably look at Serbia next, which, again, I'm not sure how much I've even fished there, but uh, I think that's what we'll do next. All right. As always, thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.